Have you ever heard of somebody practicing medicine without a license? I have to show you an article that appeared in the New York Post on January 15, 2011 about a woman who was running a nail salon with a massage table who was actually practicing medicine. And what was she doing? Well, she was a Bronx beautician with no medical training, according to the article, who turned her apartment into a silicone back alley. That's amazing. This woman named Moleska Castillo made clients lie on a massage table for dangerous injections of liquid silicone that she had shipped in from the Dominican Republic, according to criminal complaints. Then, here's this. This is amazing. She would seal up the wounds with crazy glue, and she would get $1,000 a treatment. Now, according to the article, tissue augmentation using injectable fillers such as silicone has resulted in death and serious injuries. Now, we've, this is not the first time that we've had people in New York practicing medicine without a license. And the reason we hear about this is because patients wind up having significant problems and injuries and complications. And then when they have the complication and the person who's not licensed tries to do something to help them, either they wind up dead or in the emergency room with significant problems. So here this woman was actually arrested because she had people coming in to do their nails, giving them massages, and guess what? You want some medical treatments? We'll be happy to do that too. Unbelievable. So here's the issue. If you suffer an injury by someone who is not licensed by the state of New York or has medical malpractice insurance and you suffered significant problems, can you go after the person and seek compensation? The short answer is yes, but ultimately, if they're not licensed and if they're not a physician and they're not practicing under some type of organization that has medical malpractice insurance coverage, you're basically screwed, which means you'll try and have to go after that person's assets, personal assets, and in all likelihood, this woman who is running a nail salon doesn't have any. That's just my guess. So you have to be extremely careful if you're going to get medical treatment from somebody who appears to be in some type of clinic or a salon. And that's it for today's video. And by the way, if you found this information helpful, what I want you to do if you're watching this on YouTube is click the button right below here that says like. It'll show up on your Facebook page and this way all your friends will be able to see this as well. If you have questions, I want you to pick up the phone and call me at 516-487 8207 or by email at lawmed10 at yahoo.com. I'm Jerry Oginski here in New York. Thanks for watching.